Hi, my name's Terry and I'm an instructor here at Trade Skills For You. And today I'm going to show you how to make uh, a coupling on some stainless steel solar thermal tube, or as it's also known, solar twin tube. So I've stripped the, insula the high temperature insulation back or pulled it back. Um, what you're going to need to do this uh, is a decent quality uh, uh, roller wheel pipe cutter, uh, a couple of adjustable spanners and obviously the, the, uh, the jointing kit itself. So what you need to do, first of all, is the stainless steel tube, it's got these sort of rings, so select a point where you're going to cut it. And just several turns tighten it, be very, very careful with this. Okay, like that. Now be careful with the end here, the reason, that's the reason I'm wearing these gloves. The ends, when they've been cut with a roller cutter, are very, very sharp, they're razor sharp, so just need to be careful of that. Get the, uh, the brass nut, slide the brass nut over the end, and you've got these split, split rings that come with the kit. Slide the ring over the end like this. And what we need to do, because we've got that sharp end on there, we need to flatten that off. And the way we do that is to get the actual end. It's got this flat edge here on the brass coupling. At the moment, we don't need any joints at the moment. We just put it together. And with the adjustable spanners, tighten it right up. And what that will do is, as it squashes together, it could create a flanged end on the end of the stainless steel. Open it back up again. And now you can put the fibre washer in. Tighten it up again. Now we've got the fibre washer in there. And now we've completed that, we're ready to go and attach it onto the actual solar collector itself. So when you've made your coupler onto the end of the stainless steel tube, the next thing we need to do is attach it to the solar thermal collector itself. This particular one is an evacuated tube model. Uh, I'm gonna connect it up here onto the flow pipe, the, uh, the nut, uh, the Konex nut's already on there and the olive onto the 22 mil, it's standard 22 mil copper pipe. Goes on there like that. Just do up the nut, hand tight. And again, with our two pairs of adjustables, one pair onto the Konex nut, and the other one onto the solar tube. And just gently tighten it up. And then the system's ready for filling, flushing and testing.